Hello, today I'm going to take you through a demonstration of taking a fashion illustration from start to finish from the paper illustration through the stages and different sketches that you would need to create for a tech pack. So uh, I have a, uh, I just took a quick photograph of one of my sketches and what I've started to do is uh, outline my sketch. Now you could do some live trace. My photo isn't amazing resolution so I will just choose to trace it manually because I have good control over the pen tool and I think that I can get a faster result doing it with the pen tool than doing the live trace. So I'm not going to do the whole thing here because I already have it done but just to give you a quick idea um, what I'll normally do is choose a pretty bright color that is high contrast to my sketch so that I can see it as I'm drawing. And typically the outline of my garment I do at uh, one point. And then any details inside of my garment, so the placket lines, you know, the sketch that I would create for the bow, etc. I would typically do those at a 0.5 stroke so that you can get a feel of the difference between the outline and the detail line. So I've got that already done here uh, on my outline and I'm going to just turn my sketch off for now. So you can see here's the outline of the dress that I did. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is add any stitching or detailing lines because it's important to, for the factories to know where you need to add edge stitching or a double needle top stitch or anything to that extent. So we'll take our pen tool, turn on our dashed line, and I'm going to say there's going to be stitching on the armhole seam. There would be uh, stitching on either side of the placket to sew that down. Now you could manually add all your stitches or you could create a brush that is a stitch line and a solid line. So take that, drag it in, new pattern brush, okay, okay, take that off. So now I want this to be a stitch line and a dash line. There you go. Done. Done. Actually, I want that to be on the other. Side. I want my stitch line to be on the outside. So you can see how you can make a pattern brush. That way when you need to adjust the curvature of the line, you only have to adjust one of the lines, not both. Very handy. Now, I have already added a layer with all of my stitches. So as you can see, I've got that on now. I've got a hem right down there and all of the other edge stitching that I want on my garment. The next layer that you would add is your specs layer. So this calls out all the details on your garment. Five buttons evenly spaced on center placket, uh, SNTS, that single needle top stitch on edge, armhole, placket, collar, CF panels, that stands for center front. These are all abbreviations that the factories know fairly well, and the bow. We've also got a one inch double needle top stitch hem. Okay, now we'll turn that layer off so you can see the next layer, which are your measurements. Now some of these will be in your pattern and or on your block, but anything specific to the garment you would need to call out. So you can see I draw these, I sign a letter to them, and then I list these out. Typically I would have these listed in my Excel spreadsheet, but I did them in Illustrator just for demonstration purposes. So I would take this sketch, put it into my Excel spreadsheet, and then in the table on my spreadsheet, I would list out all of these measurements. Um, we would probably want to do a separate uh, detail page for the bow, so we'd bring that illustration out, add measurements, talk about how it's constructed, constructed etc. 
but this is a good general idea. So as you can see, there's many steps and many details that you need to include in your technical drawings. Um, I hope this gives you a better idea of how to put those together so your factory understands how to make your garment. Thank you.